lettuce eat. She's lettuce eat, and you're in for a treat when you watch lettuce eat. Dollar Tree clean with me, zoning and decluttering. Zaire, Jacqueline, Dave doing his thing. Dutch oven meal hacks. She's coming back. She's coming back. I'm at BJ's and we're going to do a grocery haul today. We're gonna to go on in and get everything that we need. I'll show you everything on the table at home. Go over my meal planning board and the receipt together. All the prices will be within the store clips in the beginning of the video. If you're new, smash on that subscribe word. We have a playlist linked down below for grocery hauls, so go ahead and check that out. We are in BJ's and it's very busy for a Monday afternoon. I'm a little surprised at that. I guess a lot of people took today off. We're gonna head to the back of the store is usually where we start shopping. We are getting the Dawn dish soap. It is $10.99 and there's two coupons. I'll tell you our coupon total at the end of the video. We are getting the Ziploc bags, the 120 count for $17.99. There's also a coupon with it. Getting the Lipton tea for $7.29. Going to get some of the raspberries for $6.99. You get a whole ton of them for a good price. Grabbing a case of the water for $4.29. Noticed this two pack of chicken Caesar salad. It is a $6.99, and I have some Marie's blue cheese with a price of lettuce. That is a pretty decent buy. Mott's sliced apples. They got the green ones and the red ones. And the green ones are $3.49. The red ones are also $3.49. I thought that was a great buy. I'm going to grab the Panera mac and cheese for $13.49. Going to get a package of the Munster cheese for $7.99. That's a really good price and it's one of my favorite cheeses. With my salad, I'm going to get the salad blend cheese for $7.99. I'm also going to pick up the blue cheese crumble for $5.99, Berkeley and Jensen brand. Dave grabs some hot capicola. I'm going to have some sandwiches. Grabbing the butter, it's $14.99 with a coupon, a three pack. Getting the folders, there's no price listed, but it'll show up on the receipt and I'll let you know at home how much it cost. To self checkout, and most of it is a self checkout now. Do yourself a favor if you don't need a lot of candy, go to the regular candy department and buy the same candy without the Easter logo on it. You're going to save at least half price. We're back from BJ's. In a moment, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you everything on the table. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. They are $10 gift cards. We're currently looking for 20 people to give out one gift card. We just announced a winner recently for one of them, and we're waiting for them to respond. If they don't respond in a certain amount of time, we'll announce a new winner. You need to be subscribed in the United States residence, and if you're new, comment in order to qualify. Please be kind. We have social sites linked down below, our Facebook page and group, and all of our playlists are also linked down below. We do have a newsletter now. Marches will come out around the 19th. If interested, you can email me, contributes1268 at yahoo.com. Let's see what we got from a BJ's. This is our BJ's haul. We picked up the Ziploc bags, Land O'Lakes butter, blue cheese crumbles, Panera mac and cheese, lunch meat. The lunch meat at our bulk store is the best price in our area. Got some sliced apples, way cheaper than a bag of whole apples and they're already sliced. Munster cheese, really good price. Raspberries, we got Folgers coffee and Lipton tea. I would like to switch back and forth between Folgers coffee and Maxwell House. Then we got the Caesar salad chip for chicken and I thought that was a really great buy. The singles are expensive at Walmart and a head of lettuce is kind of pricey these days and you're getting everything in your salad already and it even comes with a dressing. Just pay attention to the dates and always check freshness like I do. Then they've had these salad blend of freshly shaved cheese. You can use them with anything. We had a double coupon that was $8 off that Dawn. And then we got a case of the water. Now we're going to go over my meal planning board. We have planned in until about the 12th of March. So around the 12th of March, I will teach you how to do the, my meal planning board system. It is a rotation system with themed nights. Wednesdays are Italian night. Pork on Tuesdays. We do leftovers on Monday. 
We like to do chicken on Sundays occasionally. We switch back and forth and do beef. Beef on Saturdays. We do takeout on Friday or some kind of coffee cat meal. And then mom's choices on Thursday. Then down here are different ideas from my teenager that is very picky who doesn't always like what we are having. And this way she feels included and she has something to choose from the board. The receipt total from the BJ's this trip was $94.14 and we saved $33. And we did really well in coupons. So that's like getting $33 worth of free product. So for the water it was $4.29 plus the bottle deposit. $7.99 for the cheese, a Munster cheese, $7.99. Mac and cheese was $15.49 with a $2 off coupon. Sometimes the prices on the shelves are different from what you check out with, so pay attention to that so you can get it adjusted. That happens at Walmart quite frequently too and other supermarkets. Apples were $3.49. That was a good buy. Blue cheese crumble, $5.99. That's cheaper than blue cheese dressing, and I can just have fresh crumble. That's awesome. The butter was $14.99 with the $2 coupon. Folgers was $12.99. The Lipton was $7.29. The Caesar salad, $6.99. It's about $5 from one of them, depending on where I buy them. And then a head of lettuce isn't cheap either, especially when you buy everything with it. And this way it's already done and it's convenient. $10.99 for the Dawn with the coupon. Ziploc bags were $17.99. They last a really long time. I use them for organizing in my freezer and keeping food contained. The lunch meat was $1.65, and I believe you bought about a third of a pound. And the raspberries were $6.99. You got a big tub of them for a good price. The smaller ones, you barely get anything, and they're expensive to buy them at a regular supermarket like our Hannaford or Price Chopper. I tend to buy our fruit like that on sale at either ShopRite or our BJ's. And then I do buy some fruit at Walmart, but I steer clear from our Price Choppers, Hannaford, and the supermarkets such as those, unless they have a great sale flyer within their weekly circular. That is it for this grocery haul. Thank you for going to DJ's with us today and picking up our groceries and check it out to see what we get. My son will be home next week, so there'll be a little bit more of a difference with next week's grocery hauls. And dinners will be a little different with him home. My 13-year-old is very, very picky, so we try to accommodate her as best as we can. If you're new, don't forget about the new giveaways. We're looking for 20 people to give out one new gift card. The rules are down below. The email is listed down below. Our social sites and our playlists are linked down below. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day and smash on that subscribe button.